Our today's topic is overlapping sets. Let's say let's see how it is stated. It is stated it is stated as two sets two sets are said to be overlapping if they have at least one element in common and none of them are subset of each other. This is a very important concept regarding GRE, GMAT or entry test. It means that there must be at least one element in common and the two sets must not be the subset of each other. Or you can also state it as if intersection of two sets is not an empty set. Two sets is not an empty set as opposed to the disjoint, disjoint sets. So this was about the overlapping sets definition. So keep this in mind. You have to cater the two. Um, uh, you have to keep in your mind the two conditions that mu there must be at least one element in common and um, one element in common and they must not be the subset of each other. Let's explain through example. We have two sets A is equals to B is equals to. If we find the intersection, what we will have A, B, C and D is the first set and A, B, e, I, O and U. This is the second set. The intersection will be the only one element that is common in both that is A. So A is the result of A intersection B. Now we have to check that the conditions are, uh, are satisfying, both the conditions are satisfying of the overlapping set. The first condition was at least one element in common. It is satisfying, yes, it is satisfying the condition as we have an element A. Okay. Second condition is they must not be the subset of each other. Is it satisfying the condition? Yes, it is satisfying because A is not the subset of B and B is also not the subset of A. So both the conditions are met, it means that the A and B are the overlapping sets. Now we will see how you can represent the overlapping sets on Venn diagram. We will take the same example as A is equals to and B is equals to A, a intersection B is equals to A. How you can draw this Venn diagram? It will be like, it will be like we have a universal set and we have the two sets A and B, A as the, they are overlapping so we will draw them in the overlapping manner then we will write, we will label it as this is A, this is B and we are finding its intersection and the elements that are common is A and the elements that are not common we will write it in their respective region B, C and D and E, I, O and U. So the overlapping region will be the shaded one like this. So this is the Venn diagram representation of um, overlapping sets. This is a very important concept in uh, in the GMAT, in the GMAT questions uh, that we will discuss in the next lectures. So uh, stay tuned for that.